Hello, wonderful boys and girls, and welcome to Learning with Heaven Guard Books. It is Shark Week, and today we are going to be learning about different kinds of sharks. And what I want you to know is that there are over 500 species of sharks that have been identified today. We're not going to cover all of them. We're only covering about 20 sharks. But I want you to do some additional research. It's Shark Week. Let's learn about sharks together. Before we start the video presentation, here's a little information that I think you should know. There are over 500 species of sharks that have been identified by scientists. And these scientists believe that the sharks have existed for over 400 million years. And here's another very interesting fact. Although sharks have a reputation for being dangerous, some species are more docile than others. The most friendly shark is the nurse shark, which is known for its slow moving and gentle nature. They are not aggressive towards humans unless provoked, making them a popular choice for divers and snorkelers. Wow. So boys and girls, we're going to be learning about these different sharks. There are over 500 species. We're only covering 20 sharks in this presentation. I want to encourage you to do some research and learn all that you can because your learning potential is limitless. Let's get started. All right, very good boys and girls. This first shark that we're going to talk about is an angel shark. Okay, say this with an angel shark. Here are a few facts about the angel shark. A truly unique species, the angel shark, looks similar to a whale. They are around 5 feet long and weigh about 77 pounds. Other names for the angel shark include the mothfish and the sand devil. Their camouflaged bodies help them catch their prey. When prey comes nearby, they use their powerful suction to grab it within one tenth of a second. That's pretty fast, boys and girls. Angel sharks are on the list of critically endangered sharks. Now, that's not good. What that means is that there are not a lot of them around, and so there are only a few of them, and we must protect them in order for them not to be endangered. So once again, boys and girls, let's say this together. Angel shark. Good job. All right, wonderful boys and girls, let's keep learning. This next shark is called a black tip shark. Say that with me, black tip shark. Here are just a few facts about the black tip shark. First of all, they often form large groups segregated into separate schools of males and females when they are not mating. They mate between March and June. That's just one little fact about the black tip shark. They eat bony fishes, smaller sharks, squids, stingrays, and small crabs. They often follow fishing boats and sometimes swim consuming this garbage squid. So those just are a few facts about the black tip shark. And boys and girls don't forget to do some additional research on these sharks. I'm just getting a few facts, but there's so much more to learn. And don't forget, your learning potential is limitless. So continue to learn about these wonderful sharks in our oceans. Wow, boys and girls, take a look at this shark. It's called a blue shark. Repeat after me, blue shark. Let's learn a little bit of information about the blue shark. Blue sharks enjoy migrating between the U.S. and Europe. In the Pacific Ocean, they have been recorded traveling over 5,000 miles. Blue sharks are the most fish shark in the world. They average about 12.5 feet long and weigh about 450 pounds. Their sleek, tapered body makes them fast, powerful swimmers. They prefer living in deep, cool waters. 
So those are who got to got the beautiful blue shark. One more time, boys and girls. Blue shark. Let's get going. This interesting shark, boys and girls, is called a bonnet fish shark. Wow, look at it. Bonnet fish shark. Here are a few things. A member of the hammerhead family, the bonnet head shark features a unique head that is shaped like a shovel. They are one of the smallest types of hammerhead sharks. Bonnet heads rarely go out on their own and typically travel in groups of 3 to 15. They can be found anywhere from the Gulf of Mexico to North Carolina to the Caribbean to the to southern Brazil. Wow, so they get tra they travel around a lot. So that is the bonnet head shark. All right. All right, wonderful scholars. This next shark is a bull shark. Bull shark. Let me give you a little information. This shark is found in oceans and freshwater alike. Bull sharks have large bodies and a very strong bite. They are considered a potential threat to humans who venture out into the open water. Bull sharks' weeds have the ability to swim very far up rivers. For example, in 1937, a bull shark was caught by two fishermen near Alton, Illinois. This location is around 1,750 miles away from New Orleans. These big, aggressive sharks have been listed as near threatened by the International Union of Conservation of Nature. And, all right, boys and girls, that was the bull shark. Okay, let's keep going. You did a great job. Okay, boys and girls, the man that you see on the screen is called a scuba diver. This is a person who uses equipment such as an oxygen tank in order to swim deep in the water and see all the wonderful things that are below the surface of the water. They have to be very careful because there are sharks down there and other things down there, but they have an oxygen tank which helps them to breathe while they're underwater. I want you to do some research. You may want to become a scuba diver so you can see all the wonderful things in our oceans. Say this with me, scuba diver. You did a great job. Let's keep moving. All right, beautiful boys and girls. This next interesting looking shark is called a carpet shark. That's right. It's a carpet shark, and that term refers to any of about 40 species of sharks possessing modern patterns on the body that are evocative of carpet designs. That's how it's got its name, carpet shark. They are found in all oceans that are concentrated in the Indian Pacific and Australian regions. Many species are large, but they are not considered dangerous to humans. Although they may protect themselves with harm, some species of carpet sharks bear live young while others lay eggs. Many species of carpet sharks are bottom feeders, primarily eating mollusks and crustaceans. Wow. So, boys and girls, look at that shark. It's a carpet shark. Say it yourself. You did a great job. Let's keep learning. All right, boys and girls, this new shark is called a dagger nose shark. Say that with me, dagger nose shark. Here's a little information about this interesting looking shark. Given their small eyes and long snout, it is thought the species relies more heavily on sensory organs in the snout than its eyesight when hunting in turbid waters. Here's where some of them live. The Dagonel shark lives in shallow, tropical, and often turbid, turbid waters in coastal areas. And things like river mouths and mangrove coastlines, they can be found in the central of Western Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea. Those are just a few places where this particular shark 
South America at depths of 928 to 1,440 feet. Wow. Like other lantern sharks, the dwarf lantern shark has light emitting organs called photophores along its belly and fins. These help them camouflage when they feed in shallow water. The light up belly blends in with sunlight streaming down from above. In dark water, the light attracts many animals, which the shark preys upon. It also has big eyes, that is for a shark, to help it see in the mostly dark waters of the ocean's high sun. So this is a well-seen shark called the Black Lantern Shark. You saw the shark. That's right. Good job. Dwarf Lantern Shark. Let's keep going. You're doing a great job. All right, boys and girls. This shark right here is the one you want to try to avoid. It is the great white shark. That's right. And here's a little information about it. Out of all the types of sharks, no other shark in the ocean invokes such an image of fear and raw power as the great white shark does. It is the largest of all the predatory sharks in the ocean today, measuring approximately 20 feet long and weighing up to, check this out, 6,600 pounds. Wow, that's more than some cars. By playing the role of the top predator in the ocean, great white sharks keep the population of sea lions and elephant seals in check. Perhaps their most recognizable feature is their rows of teeth, serrated teeth. Each tooth may reach a size of 6.6 inches tall. Ooh. According to the National Geographic, great whites can detect one drop of blood in 25 gallons of water up to three miles away. That's serious, boys and girls. Ooh, a great white shark. Pretty good work. You want to see it on the screen and not while you're in the ocean. All right, boys and girls, let's be safe. Let's keep learning. I'm proud of you. All right, here's another very interesting looking shark. It's called a Greenland shark. Say this with me, Greenland shark. And here's an interesting fact about this shark. Scientists estimate the Greenland shark lives at least 250 years and that they may be able to live over 500 years. That is amazing. 500 years. Fascinating. So fascinating. Say this with me. Greenland shark. And don't forget, boys and girls, do some additional research on these beautiful animals in our oceans called sharks. Let's keep learning. All right, boys and girls, here's another very interesting looking shark. It's called a hammerhead shark. Say that with me, hammerhead shark. And you may be wondering how many types of hammerhead sharks are there. There are 10 different types of hammerhead shark breeds. Great hammerhead sharks, such as those found off the coast of Puerto Rico, are classified as endangered sharks. They are the largest of all. I think this is a great hammerhead shark. Wow, look at the head. Wow, that is so interesting. Looking. All right, boys and girls, do some additional research. Don't forget to keep learning. Let's keep going. Ooh, boy, 
boys and girls, look at this, y'all. Ooh, does he look scary to you? Would you be frightened of the goblin shark? Say that with me, goblin shark. This is the rarest shark. It is the rarest shark in the world. And it's known for its unique appearance with a long protruding snout. This deep sea dwelling shark is rarely seen by humans as it typically lives at depths of 300 to 1,300 meters. The goblin shark is also known for its ability to protrude its jaws to capture prey, making it a fascinating and mysterious creature. Wow, mysterious indeed. That, boys and girls, again, is the goblin shark. Say that with me, goblin shark. Let's get rolling. Boys and girls, here is another image of a what? Scuba dive. Scuba dive. Remember, this is a person who swims in the water. They swim in the water, but they have to swim with what is called scuba gear. So they have to have an oxygen tank. Sometimes they have to have a certain kind of suit. But a scuba diver is someone who swims deep under the water. Something you can do to be able to see some of the beautiful animals that are in our oceans. Alright, so think about that. Do some research on scuba divers. Let's keep moving. Well, boys and girls, had you ever heard of a lemon shark? I know I had, but now I know that there is a shark called a lemon shark. Named after the yellowish hue of their skin, lemon sharks are the most researched of all sharks. This is because they are able to be kept in captivity for long periods of time. Because of this, scientists have had a great opportunity to observe their behavior. Although they have very poor vision, their nose makes up for it as it contains magnetic sensors that detect their prey. This bottom red shark finds its prey by sifting through the sand for rays, bony fish, and crustaceans. Wow. So boys and girls, there is a fish called a lemon fish. We know how it starts here, which means it's color because of the nose. Yeah. All right, one more time, boys and girls. I say it, lemon fish. Yeah. Beautiful, boys and girls. Have you ever heard of a leopard shark? A leopard shark, or there is a leopard shark. Look on your screen. Wow. Some of the most common sharks found off the California coast are leopard sharks. And how do they get the name? Well, the name comes from the dark splotches on their skin. According to the San Diego Zoo, there are no reports of anyone ever being killed by a leopard shark. Conversely, leopard sharks are sometimes caught as a food source for people. Leopard sharks have lived in zoological settings for over 20 years. In their natural habitat, you can find them in shallow and closed muddy bays, entering with the tide and leaving when it exits. Wow, look at that, look at the skin. That is called a leopard shark. Wow, this is fascinating. Well, let's keep learning, it's Shark Week. Ooh, look at this fella. This is called a nurse shark. Nurse shark. No sharks feed on squid, hunt, and sea urchins. They suck food into their mouths at the bathroom point and use their pectoral fins to travel across the bottom of the ocean floor. The two knobs on their face, called barbells, work similarly to taste buds. Nurse sharks get new rows of the unique types of shark teeth frequently depending on what season it is. In summer, they get a new set of teeth every 10 to 20 days. Wow, that is incredible and fascinating. Boys and girls, again, let's say it, nose shark.
This new shark, boys and girls, is the sandbar shark. Sandbar shark. Averaging six feet long and weighing 110 to 150 pounds, the sandbar shark lives in the sandy bottoms of coastal areas. Found all over the world, sandbar sharks have been targeted by U.S. commercial shark fisheries. Natural predators of the sandbar shark include tiger sharks and those great white sharks, all right? So that is the sandbar shark. Interesting. Let's keep learning. Boys and girls, look at the teeth on that sand tiger shark. That's right, there's a shark called a sand tiger shark. Here's some information. Sand tiger sharks are also known as spotted ragged tooth crown or gray nerve sharks. It is rumored that aquariums are the source of the tiger in the sand tiger name. Originally called sand sharks, the tiger was added to make them seem more ferocious. All sharks in this family swim slowly with their mouths open, exposing long, narrow, needle-like teeth. They belong to a group of sharks known as ram ventilators that need constant movement to pass water over their gills to breathe. They often find fast-moving currents to help them breathe while exerting less energy. Sand sharks have been observed gulping air using a stomach full of air to help maintain neutral buoyancy. Wow, that was fascinating. They're swimming with their mouths open, boys and girls. Look at that, the sand tiger shark. Let's keep learning. Boys and girls, did you know there is a shark called silky shark? Silky shark, that's right. Silky sharks are named as such due to the silky appearance of their skin. Their body is long and slim, reaching an average of 12 feet in length. They can be found in warm, tropical waters. Silky sharks are known for their, for their particularly acute sense of fear. They are on the list of endangered sharks. Their average life expectancy is around 22 years. Their gestation period is around one year. And they give birth to 15 to 20 pups at a time. Wow, boys and girls, that is a silky shark. And remember, it is on the endangered list, meaning that it's possible that this shark will no longer be in the oceans. We must try to protect the beautiful animals. All right, we have one more shark, boys and girls. I want to say how proud I am of you. And don't forget, your learning potential is limitless. Okay, boys and girls, here's another shark we do not want to play with. It is called a tiger shark. And how did it get its name? It's got its name because of the tiger-like stripes that adorn its body. The tiger shark loses these stripes once it reaches adulthood. Tiger sharks give birth to 80 or more embryos at a time and give birth to 30 to 35 pups in a litter. Second in size to the great white shark, the tiger shark reaches the length of 18 feet long and weighs up to 2,000 pounds. Tiger shark feeds are notorious for eating just about anything they can find. From scouts, gorillas, garbage, Tiger sharks have also been known to bite people. So boys and girls, be very, very careful. All right? Tiger shark. Say it after me. Tiger shark. Boys and girls, this is the last shark in our video presentation. It is called a whale shark. And whale sharks are the largest sharks in the world, in fact, indeed, largest of any fishes alive today. And guess what they eat? They feed on plankton and travel large distances to find enough food to sustain their huge size and to reproduce. Well, sharks are found in all the tropical oceans of the world. They're white-spotted 
Polarization makes these gentle giants easy to distinguish and populate with scorpions and divers at sites where they aggregate off the coast. So because they really do not harm humans, many people go snorkeling where they can go underwater and look at the different sea life that lives beyond under the surface of the world. We have golden girls, that is the whale shark, and the largest of all the sharks that we have around today. And I'm so proud of you. Never forget that the land to comfort is limitless. And if there is a shark that you saw today and you want to do my research, I want to encourage you to learn all of you can. Well, have a beautiful day, boys and girls. Thank you for watching, listening, and learning with Avangar Thoughts.